Now I'm showing how to score a portfolio and a project that were built off of templates as part of a course. Here I'm scoring the competency on computer literacy that was aligned to this particular portfolio. I can see the entire portfolio from this window. By clicking here, I can switch the pages. I can also click here to get a full screen view of the portfolio if I wanted to open in a new window. Then I'll score it against computer literacy. I can see the description and I can give the student a score here. Here's the evidence for what it means to earn each of these scores. These rubrics, of course, are built to suit. This is just a sample. I'm going to leave a comment for the student. If I wanted to, I can upload an attachment, such as maybe a track copy of a paper that they wrote or something like that. I'm not going to do that here. Here, this particular portfolio was also aligned to another standard on problem solving and decision making. So I'm going to look through the work, look at this specific page on that category, and score it. Again, I'll leave a comment if I want to. And now I've scored the portfolio. To complete this evaluation, I just click here. And I'm done. Next, I'll show you a project. It's very similar. Here, I'm scoring that student's project on communication. And I can see the project directly through this window. Or I can click here to get a full screen of the project. I might want to do that to see these inline file views. Of course, I could also click on a button to download those to my computer, should I wish to. When I'm done looking over the project, I'll give the student the score and leave a comment. Again, I could upload an attachment if I want to. I'll click back to the summary page, and I'll complete the evaluation, which archives the data in our system. So scoring portfolios and projects as a moderator of a community is very simple. These portfolios and projects can be built at any time. The templates don't take very much time to build, so you're able to decide upon one as you go in a course. Or you could pre-plan them and have them loaded as part of your syllabus. Students can be walked right through how to do the things that they need to do in the Folio Tech system.